Welcome to the episode of El Ember Four. Today on set, we have Elizabeth Fakwalden and Mona Villages. Today's topic is the volcanic eruption of Ayafyallayuco in Islam in 2010. One of the world's biggest problems the eruption caused was the big ash cloud caused by the eruption, who moved its way to Europe. Which led to the closure of most of the European IFR airspaces from the 15th to the 20th of April 2010, which created the highest level of airspace disruptions since the Second World War. Welcome. This is Elizabeth Glenn from the LM Before News. This is Sarah Brown. She has been stuck in the airport for three days because her because her plane has been stopped by the ash cloud. She's going to tell us a little bit about it and we're going to ask her some questions. Well, I have been stuck on the airport for three whole days and I don't, I don't know any money going down and I don't know any, 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 I don't know how to communicate with people. So I, I don't know and I need to be two more days and I, I, I want to go back home. Does, is anybody back home there? Yeah, my husband evades me and I don't know what to do because I don't have phone and if he uh, gets getting cold in the defeat here, I don't know. Okay, thank you, and we're going to ask you a bit of questions just to clarify everything. Okay. Where are you? Where? Do you have anybody with you? No, I don't have anybody with me. Everybody is home and I, I was. I was traveling to Germany to have some work, but then I don't know this this stupid cloud. What airport were you going to? I am here at Frankfurt International Airport. Thank you, Sarah. So that concludes our interview from Sarah Brown, who has been stuck in this hotel for three days and two more. Thank you. This volcano has had three other eruptions, one in March the 21st and the others in 2009 to 2010. This volcano is a strat or volcano, which means it's a volcano that is built up of alternate layers of ash and lava. Welcome to the interview with Lizzie Einstein and I'm Mona again from LMB4. We're gonna ask her some questions. She is a volcanologist who actually predicted the eruption of Eyjafjallajökull in Iceland in 2010. So, how did you predict that there was an eruption in Iceland? Well, we look back on the evidence from the last eruptions that were caused. And we found out that this, this volcano was going to erupt anytime soon from that, from that period of time. Did you ask the people to, um, who lived in the area to go away? Well, there were many people who lived in that area. But yes, we did. The people that were hiking the volcano, we did ask them to evacuate. Okay, and we one last question. What evidence did you use that you knew that there was an eruption? We used the evidence that we used, we took samples from the volcano and we took them and we used bits and pieces in our tech, tech, technology computer and we found out that these little samples from this volcano was used as to make the whole volcano which was powered with ash and lava and so we knew that it was going to erupt at that exact time. Yeah, that was the interview with Lizzie Einstein and I'm Mona. See you later. Oh, you know what? For a co-ologist state, there were no deaths included in this event, but the damage known to man was time. You can never get time back. A lot of destinations made on that day were cancelled, caused by the pollution in the air. The eruption was started on March 20th, 2010, 
2010 and was reported over in October 2010. And also in the bigger news was Mr. President of Poland funeral was in place and um, was in place that day. An important and an important guest like Barack Obama has a has a flight canceled and was unable to attend. That concludes our today's episode of LMB4 about Aya Afya La Yuko, the volcano that erupted in Iceland 2010.